if the internet is a highway, vehicles or content providers can't pay more to use a special fast lane. Think of it this way. All content is created equal in the eyes of the internet provider. That's the basic tenet behind net neutrality. So if the internet is neutral, then the internet providers are treated basically like public utilities. Comcast or AT&T, they couldn't slow down or speed up certain content like Netflix or Hulu. But if net neutrality ends, some companies are gonna be stuck in that slow lane and customers might stop using sites that never seem to load. The rules that made the net neutral were put in place during the Obama administration. This set of principles, the idea of net neutrality, has unleashed the power of the internet and given innovators the chance to thrive. But now, things are going in a different direction. Aji Pai is now the chairman of the FCC. He's a former lawyer for Verizon. Entrepreneurs are constantly developing new technologies and services, but too often, they are unable to bring them to market for consumers because outdated rules or regulatory inertia stand in the way. To him, repealing net neutrality will lead to innovation, that it will get the government out of, quote, micromanaging the internet. The internet providers will have more money, they'll then invest more in infrastructure, and will have faster streaming. But while deregulation certainly has earned the praise of the telecommunications industry, on the other side of the coin, you have tech companies and consumer advocacy groups. We don't want our internet to start looking like our television cable. Uh, we don't want to have tiered access. We don't want to have all the things that have really stifled innovation in other industries. For those who want to keep net neutrality intact, it's a matter of internet freedom. Repeal would mean that internet service providers can choose how affordable and how fast certain content is. That is, there'll be a slow lane, and a fast lane. So this summer, some big tech giants like Facebook, Google, Netflix, they all participated in a day of action to advocate for net neutrality. But really, it's the small companies and the startups that have the most to lose if net neutrality ends. They don't have the deep pockets to pay the toll to access that faster lane. The open question now, will repeal of net neutrality lead to innovation or to a traffic jam?